Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today I'm gonna to look at this brand new mechanical keyboard. I have, this comes from a company called AOC, and that is short for Admiral Overseas Corporation. This particular model is the GK410, and it is a mechanical wired keyboard. All right, so first a little something about AOC, Admiral Overseas Corporation. I've never heard of them up until now, but apparently they've been around for quite some time. I believe their founding was 1934, and I guess their first major retail splash as far as consumer electronics would be in 1967 when they were the first to export colored TVs from Taiwan. So yes, this company is a Taiwanese company, and I did have this imported. Uh, you'll probably have to do the same, and we'll talk about price right up front. At least at the time of me filming this, taken away any extra fees to have it pulled into this country um, it's going for around sixty seven dollars so I have seen it priced as high as a hundred so I'd say anywhere from sixty to a hundred is probably what you're looking at but what do you get for that well you get a mechanical keyboard that has a lot of fancy lights and a whole bunch of different modes and on top of that your choice of four different types of switches so if you're not familiar, this when I say switch, I'm talking about the actual mechanical switch or button under each one of these keys. Remember, this is a mechanical keyboard, so the J will have its own little activation trigger as well as the K, as well as any other button on here. All right, unlike a uh, membrane keyboard which is usually the ones that come like packed in with your computer when you buy a new computer they kind of throw in a keyboard for you that's usually a membrane keyboard and I'm not gonna go too much into it but just know those are way less accurate and um, yeah so that's why we kind of go for mechanical keyboard when performance matters so but there are four types of switches you can get there are and they're done by color so it's easy to remember black brown blue and red are your options I personally got blue because I like the clicky, clicky, clicky. Um, I like that auditory feedback. Um, lets me know I pushed the button. And But you can get the other options, um, the other three options if you choose. Now, also let's talk about the what um, top of each key. Um, this is obviously the English option, but there's also Korean and Russian. Okay, so um, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look around the box. All right, so here's the front that you've been looking at already mechanical keyboard and get an idea there you go it is by the way a full keyboard so you do have the um, 10 key here on the side or some people call it the calculator <laughs> um, yeah and okay there's the model number these are kind of like the three highlights they put on and they go into into it on the back but just to tell you in case you don't see can't see it it says rainbow light because these all light up all the kinds of fancy colors uh, mechanical switch which we kind of already covered and alloy surface so yeah, you can see here, um, that's a metal plate. All right, and they tell us a little more about it, that metal plate on the back or side, which anyway, we're gonna look at now. So let's just look at this side first. You do have um, an actual seal, so you know it's uh, genuine and not opened. Kind of get an idea what the front, or as you might say, the front side of the keyboard looks like. So you do get those lights shining out from even, um, not just looking at it from the top, but also from the side. All right, and then on this side, okay, just the model number and the company. This side here, okay, um, kind of get a, that's cool, you get an image of it looking at it from this side. So as it is in the box, I guess, there you go. You can see how those keys look almost like they're floating. Cool. Okay, and then on the back, here we have some specs. I'm going to see if I can zoom in. All right, so there's the company. There, rainbow light. Those are those three little icons we saw on the front. Going over here to actual product specifications. I'll just, you can uh, pause the video if you want to take the time to read that. And then there's one over here. And over here, what's included. And then also your requirements. Okay. And I guess that's just like the model number and whatnot. Oh, by the way, there's their uh, internet address if you want to go look at what else you can buy. Okay, let's just look at the back. All right, so here are those each of those icons with a little more detail. So the rainbow light, so it says rainbow or single light mode, about 16.8 million colors to, of dazzle. 
uh, backlight and there's two backlight modes customize your color we'll go into all that later of course but um, here we go the keyboard plate is made of aluminum alloy and it is anodized and sanded so the plate with the thin oh, the, so the plate with thin and unusual appearance and more durable all right so it looks cool and it's durable awesome and then I'm talking about the mechanical switches. The mechanical switch is designed for gaming, and the 1.5 millimeter trigger distance gives you unusual gameplay speed and precision. All right. And then on the back, they kind of they give you an image of what it looks like. Cool. And then down here, um, just UPCs and whatnot. And they're different, I guess, what certifications right there. Okay. All right, so overall impressions of the packaging. Yeah, they did a great job here. Uh, so let's go over it. They have big pictures of the item. Excellent. And some of the other pictures are the same item from different angles. I kind of like how they did that. So if you're looking for the side of the box, it would be the side, like if you can look through the box and see the keyboard in there. <laughs> nice touch. Like it. Um, also, they was talk about the, um, they, they have information. They have specs on there. And we'll also talk about balancing the language. Uh, so if you speak one of two languages you'll be able to pick this box up and know what you're getting and yeah so oh and also the material uh, they have this laminated cardboard here not only makes it look shiny and new and all that that's great but it also does give it some water resistance and stain protection so yeah they did a good job on that all right, moving on all right so let's get to the unboxing here I went ahead and I peeled back this uh, security seal um, and yeah, it's actually one of these kind of like um, tin foily type uh, stickers. So, all right, uh, okay, peel back the tab like so, and here we go. Let's get in there. It has a, a styrofoamish foam type uh, bag here, and also it has brackets. Actually, yeah, this is definitely start from brackets on each side. On the bottom, I'm assuming this is our manual. There's something else over here. Uh, probably like a warranty card or something, right? Alright, just to give you an idea what those brackets look like on the side. So, there's a little bottom protection too. Um, you can see there, so it kind of sat off the bottom of the box. More shock uh, absorption if it's not actually touching the bottom of the box, if it should fall. Alright, and we'll take off this. There it be. Before we go any more into the actual item, let me go ahead and just quickly show you this. Alright, so here's our book. Right. Hmm. Okay, well, this looks to be predominantly in Chinese, but there is some English there. So, okay. And then this here. There you go. So, yeah. Okay. Now let's get to the item. Let me zoom in. Here's the cord. It looks like we actually get some length here. I'll undo this just to see just how much length we get. Yeah. That'll give you an idea. Yeah, so you get a good amount of length there. Anyways, looking at the cable itself, you can probably see it has this braided uh, texture to it and it 
does actually feel like it's wrapped up in this, I'm assuming, like nylon type material here. That there is uh, one of these uh, interference beads or anti interference beads there. Okay. And then there's your USB. It does, it's not, it doesn't seem to be plated um, gold or anything like that, but it, yeah. And uh, there's a little extension back here in case you're going to actually bend this around the corner. There's a, yeah, a little protection there. So that's good. Okay, let's get back to the actual keyboard. All right, so this plate here, uh, which you're seeing is a silver gray, is definitely metal. Um, it's actually cool to the touch. And, uh, yeah, it does add some heft to this. So I'm liking that, and it's metal. If you look here it, um, to the side, it wraps around, so it's basically half the thickness of the keyboard is this uh, metal and yeah okay let's push some buttons right I got clicky switches I better hear some clicks I think I already do yeah. make sure I don't get the box interfering with the noise okay here we go and we'll look at that travel as we push the button Yep, so they're definitely clicky switches. It feels nice. Uh, the tops of these are smooth. There's a little, I don't know if it comes up. There's a little bit of a cup, but it isn't anything too drastic. So you can slide from one key to the other. You're not like trapped. Some of these are really, some keys are really bowed. So when you try to go like this, you kind of get like a little wall. But you can see I can shift over without too much trouble. And we'll see if you want to look at the font. There you are. So, yep. Pretty standard uh, font. I'd say modern styling. Nothing too uh, crazy, but in some ways that's good. Should you be using this keyboard for more than just gaming? And yeah, I don't see any like. Um, some keyboards have like, you know, kind of themed keys, shall we say, with like fantasy type looking stuff, and it's cool when you're at home, but if you're, like I said, bringing this to work or whatnot, it still looks, definitely looks professional. Um, <laughs> now if you want to keep all the lights and effects on, that's up to you, but again, just as is, it looks nice. Escape key, all the way up here on its own. Alright, I almost forgot to show you the back. <laughs> so here you have the back. You do actually have, this isn't just designed as you can hear, it is actually raised up. These uh, diagonal rays are raised a little bit. Um, so you have that. And of course you have the little um, feet that come out. So there you are. It does seem to be in or out. There doesn't seem to be multiple steps. If you leave this foot in, there are these here that serve as, I guess, the feet when you don't use the actual long feet. <laughs> It's a little pad here. Um, I'm not really sure. It doesn't really feel like rubber. I don't. This seems to be plastic, but you do see it does have that little grip texture there. And then up front, though, that would be the front, right? Excuse, yeah. Okay. So up front, these are rubber. These here. So. And then coming over here, some information. You have your barcode of your particular um, keyboard right here on the back. We do have some uh, holes here, little slots, and there's some over there as well. Are those drain holes? Possibly. I'm not going to pour water in here to test it out, so <laughs> we'll just have to assume that's what they are. If you know, feel free to leave me in the comments. And uh, yeah, so, okay. All right, so here we are. I went ahead and plugged it in, so this is, I guess, the default. Um, color configuration. The computer did um, briefly say setting up new device, but other than that, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to go to any website and download drivers or anything like that. So, here we are. Now, of course, there's all different color co color combinations and orientations and also uh, like effects, I'm assuming. But this is your default, it appears, because this is what came up. 
and it does seem like it's doing a good job of grouping keys so if you look at this all the 10 key numbers are yellow the operations are red arrow keys purple and then you can kind of see how they're grouped up here numbers that are on top of the letters are red and also notice how WASD, w -A -S -D, is um, slightly, it's purple versus blue, so kind of already highlighting those. Alright, so let's go through some of the different lighting setups they have here. Now, you have to understand there's two different, I guess, groups of lighting. Alright, there's the lighting layouts, which are basically certain keys will be illuminated and others will not. And this is like, for example, for first-person shooter games, the keys that you'd use for first-person shooters are going to be lit, and the others will be dark. Doesn't mean you can't use the other keys, obviously, they just won't be lit up. And the other type of um, lighting are the marquees. Those are the more like what you think, lighting effects, or like light shows. And some of those are passive, where the keyboard does all the different lighting. And the others are like based on what you push. So like when you push a certain key, it'll have an effect. Okay, so let's start out with the different layouts, and I'm just going to go ahead and give you a, a snapshot of each one. And how to change this is to hit the function key, and then one of these numbers. You can't use these numbers for this, you have to use function and the red numbers up here. Okay, so we'll start, and I'll just go through them quickly here. This is function one, or layout one. All right, layout two. Layout three. All right, so back to our default lighting scheme. And if you wanna get back here, um, you just hit function and escape and it brings us back up. Okay, so now you looked at those layouts of, and you said, geez, that one layout was great, only if this key and that key were also lit. Well, don't worry, you can do it. There's a way to set a, fun, or a custom layout, and I could go into how to do it, but you know, it's probably easier just to show you the um, manufacturer's little picture guide on how to do that. So I'll put that up now. Okay, so now that we're done with those, uh, we can get to the, I would say, more entertaining and fun to look at, and these are the marquees. So these are going to be your little light show, and there's quite a few of them, actually 20 of them. So how to can get uh, or activate these, again, we're going to use our function key, but this time, instead of the red numbers up here, we're going to use these keys here, and there's five of them. So I know there's a group of six here, but we're not going to use the end key, so it's those other five there. And how you do it, of course, as you can guess, you hit function and then hit one of those keys. Now, each one of those keys has four different, I guess, light shows under it. So each one of these, in combined with function, are going to give you four different light shows. So you take four times five for 20. So let's just go ahead and do one right now. I don't know. Let's just do function delete. Okay, so you have this kind of streaking across effect. And then again, if you just hit function delete again, you get a different uh, show. And uh, let's go to, I don't know, uh, function home. Now you're like, oh, what? It's all black. That's not cool. Well, he's pushing buttons and things happen. See? And um, let's try another one. Function home, right? Function home. And push. So this time only the row you push lights up and then fades off. All right, function home again. Let's see what happens when I push it this time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> cool. Okay, so something came up on my screen. Okay, there you go. Get that off. Um, let's try some other things. Uh, how about function this? Uh, let's try function that again. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so you get the idea. And there's 20 different light shows. Some you have to push buttons to make it do stuff, um, and others just on their own put on a show. So, toying to explore. All right, so here we are with the lights on in the room. I have a desk lamp about a foot and a half away from this keyboard. It does have its diffuser shade over it, but still, it's a pretty darn bright light, and um, so you're getting to see what this looks like with the lights on. Keep in mind, I have also decreased the brightness of this keyboard a few ticks. To change the brightness, of course, you hit function down or function and up if you want to increase the brightness. So there's that. I just want to make sure you guys got to see what it looked like um, with the lights on. Okay, now let's get back to this layout. Um, I've said numerous times in this video already how I really like the grouping and the colors of how they did this. And that's something you're going to also have to like if you're thinking about buying this keyboard. And the reason is, with all the different marquee modes, lighting effects, and even the customize what keys are lit and what ones are not, with all with that, you still cannot, for example, change those four keys that are purple, you can't make those green. You can't make these um, yellow. You can't make those yellow ones purple. You get the point. These keys, the colors they are, that's fixed. So all the cool lighting effects just turn the, the different keys on and off and light them up and when they light, but they can't change what color they are. Now there are other keyboards that can do that. So if you're not kind of down with this color um, set up here, um, this may not be the keyboard for you. Alright, so also um, let's talk about a little about productivity. There are some shortcuts off of this keyboard that actually can help you bring up certain apps and do different things with multimedia. And I'm just going to put up, the um, again, the manufacturer's little graphic to explain those to you. Alright, so a couple things I wanted to cover after using this keyboard for a little bit is first we'll talk about the key surfaces initially I said that they were smooth and they are for the most part however they do have a slight bit of texture um, and again it's slight but it's there so okay the other thing I want to talk about is the weight of the keyboard we saw the weight listed on the spec sheet that was printed on the box but I decided to actually weigh it myself so what I did is I will I weighed the keyboard as you see here so the cable was connected to the tower so I'm kinda of gonna assume that takes out the weight of the cable but just the way in the keyboard itself, as you see here on the desk, it came up to be 1 pound 9.3 ounces. So there is definitely some mass to this. I think that's a plus because not only does it make the keyboard feel more substantial, but it also stops it from sliding all over because it has weight pushing straight down, keeping it in place. Alright, now let's go ahead and talk about a quick disclaimer, and that's regarding my use of this item. And that is to say that I've used this item basically just long enough to make this uh, review. So I can't speak to how long this will hold up and just what kind of abuse you can put it through. But what I can say is that, at least from the time I've been using it, it actually seems to be pretty well built. So take that for what it's worth. Alright, so moving on to the conclusion. Would I recommend this uh, keyboard? And on its own merit, I'd say, yeah, it's, it's a good keyboard. Um, I can't see why you wouldn't want something like this. Now we'll add a little more, I guess, circumstance to that, would I recommend it? And I'm going to say that depends on what you already have. So if you are still using that cheap membrane keyboard that came and included with your HP that you bought from Office Store, yeah, you're definitely going to want to upgrade to something like this. Um, the difference will be pronounced, and I think you'll really uh, enjoy it. If you're not into the clicking keys, remember there are the other options, red, brown, and black switches. Okay, now if you are using one of those quote-quote gaming uh, keyboards that you know at the big box store which really the only thing gaming about it is that it has some lights on it well then you're definitely going to want to get these because you're pretty much in the same situation as the first guy with a cheap membrane keyboard this will be a huge step up from that all right now if you're in a situation like myself where you have actually quite a few keyboards and a lot of them are mechanical this one is just it's good i mean it's not really a huge step up from what i was using and i was using that moto speed um, I believe it's the CK-104, and I did a review on that, so if you want to check that out, feel free. But um, that one did pretty much everything this one does, and it did a little more because, again, I could choose what each key color actually was. Not just choose do I want it lit or not, but I could actually choose the color. But it is still pretty, and um, yeah, I think it's a good buy, um, just depending on your situation. But nonetheless, um, I will keep this brand on my radar.